Artificial intelligence is a term that gets tossed around a lot, and so the idea of what does AI mean to education is a useful question in the sense of we need to think about how it's affecting school environments, whether whether K to 12 or um, university settings. The problem is it also kind of doesn't mean anything because it's so broad. And so it really is important to be more specific about what kinds of AI might be meant um, when somebody's talking. So your spam filter that hopefully does a good job of keeping spam out of your inbox is based on AI, is based on machine learning, which is the most common form of AI in use right now. Um, language translation is based on machine learning. That's obviously something that's pretty useful um, in, in university settings or in school settings or, or anywhere else. Um, so there are certainly a lot of useful applications that we would want people to be able to take advantage of. Are there machine learning applications in education products that are concerning? Um, sure there are. Uh, in younger ages, if we're doing personalized learning in a way that is on a machine learning platform in order to identify and make projections or predictions for individual students, then it's really important to understand what the training data behind that program might be. So um, if it's a child getting some sort of label about their aptitude for reading or their social behavior and how they're likely to interact or being used as part of diagnoses for things like ADHD or anything like that, then if any of that is based on algorithmic uh, programs, particularly that are designed around machine learning models, which means they change based on the data that they're trained on and then the data that they experience um, in real life while they're being implemented, uh, there are obviously a lot of implications for that. And it would be really important to understand the development of those systems, how they were designed, and what sort of recourse or oversight there is by people in the system, and obviously by the families and parents um, and students of the people that are having it applied to them. So at a university level, if they're running some sort of machine learning application on freshmen after the first semester and making predictions on their likelihood to succeed in college and stay in college or their likelihood of succeeding in the major that they've chosen or whether they might be a suicide risk or whether they might be a risk to demonstrate violence against other people, those all have really serious implications and the students themselves would deserve to understand A, that those systems were occurring and being used and that the outputs from them were being considered in regards to that student's treatment at the university um, and also to understand how accurate or how reliable any of that information was and then uh, what recourse they have to appeal it or protest it.